This is my Tesla Model 3 standard range. And this is a Tesla Model 3 performance. We're here at Portland Autos, a luxury car dealership outside of Doncaster, and they are very kindly letting me play with all of their Teslas. Today we'll be messing around with the Model 3 performance, but they also have Model S's, Model X's, and even an incredibly rare original Tesla Roadster. Thanks very much, Portland Autos, their social media and their website in the description if you want to check them out. So you might not immediately be able to tell, but we're actually in the performance model right now. And the interior, as you can see, is very, very similar, but there are a few subtle changes. The performance version has these lovely metal pedals rather than just the black ones that I've got in my standard range. You can see the previous owner of this car has also wrapped their little central console, but I think they purchased a more expensive carbon fiber wrap than I did. It looks like they've also installed a wireless charger as well, which you can see by these wires under here. And that's something that we have not yet done. Wireless charging is available by default in the Model Y, though that's coming very soon. Outside of the car, the rims are very different the wheels themselves are i think an inch bigger and they've got these lovely silver rims which i think look a lot nicer you'll see on the back of the car it says dual motor that's because this car has an all-wheel drive thing whereas my standard range is just a real wheel drive and the car also has a nice little carbon fiber spoiler which you can purchase online which we might do in a future video but the main difference with the performance model is the performance my car can do 0 to 60 in 5.1 seconds and this car should be able to do 0 to 60 in about 3.2 which obviously we are going to test in this video and i'm very nervous about it because this is about to become the fastest car that i've ever driven but i think without further ado let's just start driving the car now first thing i'm noticing the steering wheel is so high up and that's because obviously i've got my custom profile on my car so let's get this ready to drive because i feel like i'm really short so i'm going to click on steering wheel and i'm going to lower the car very nice Perfect, that's more like it. I'm gonna move my seat up a little bit. Oh yes, lovely. I like to be able to see plenty of the road. I'm gonna move back a little bit as well because I've got long legs. And then I think my mirrors, to be honest, are all right. So let's uh, let's give it a go. I'm frightened now. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing I'm noticing, obviously this is a white car. So you can see that on the, on the visualization, the car's white because this does change depending on your on your tesla which is a really nice feature but what i'm thinking is i want to get my car wrapped at some point and the wrap won't show up on the screen and that's really sad okay we've got a full 250 miles of range so let's just start driving wave bye to your tesla bye bye my tesla <laughs> becky what if we just leave and never come back <laughs> this car's worth like 16 more grand okay everything feels very similar so far all right here we go we need to pull out of portland autos we're gonna wait for a nice lull. I'm gonna take it easy, obviously. Okay, we're initially taking it easy. I'm very excited to find out if we're gonna see much of a difference. Right, I'm gonna put my foot down. Whoa! <laughs> okay, there's a difference. There's definitely a difference. Jeez. <laughs> so obviously a 0 to 60, 5.1 seconds compared to 3.2. That's a massive difference in the in the 0 to 60 game. All right, let's. Uh, there's no one behind us right now, so we'll just slow down a little bit. This feels very it, You know what? It feels really familiar. But then when I do that, that's mad. That is very, very quick. Okay, basically what we need to do is we need to drive to our 0 to 60 location because we did a 0 to 60 earlier in my car. And let's see if we can get a timed lap. Hmm, Becky, I can't help noticing we're currently going 40 and a 60. <laughs> okay, now we're going 60. Gee, that's scary. That's, that's scary. That's so quick. Though. That is oh so my quick. Goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that acceleration's mad. You can feel a real difference there. Oh, hang on. Are we, are we having to stop because of this car? Oh, now off we go again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Sorry, anyway, as well as the Nota 60, this car also has improved range. So my car apparently can do 254 miles, whereas this car is meant to be able to do about 314. Right, this is where we did our Nota 60 earlier. So if you want to know how long that took, here's that. We're at a complete stop. Okay, and... Off we go! So 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. There we go. Hey look, I'm back in the performance model. Are you ready? I'm quite scared. <laughs> oh my god! Jesus Christ! Whoa. Jesus Christ! Bloody hell! <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing that is amazing yeah that that i tell you what that two seconds makes a ginormous difference that's absolutely crazy i mean that's uh, 
you really do get launched back. I've kind of gotten used to the speed in my car, but this one is just insane. I really braced myself and I still wasn't ready. <laughs> So right now, I don't know the difference between those two speeds, but I can confidently say that this one was definitely a little bit faster. But either way, the two times that we achieved 0-60 are on screen right now. Just notice this look, so listen to this slight different noise. You ready? You ready? You ready? That's a different noise when you put it into park. This is the sound of my car going into park. And once again, this is the sound of this car going into park. Oh! <laughs> Also, I was curious what this car was named, if anything, and it's called Ying's. So I assume that whoever owned this car previously was called Ying, and this is Ying's car. <laughs> do you think I could change it from Ying's? I want to do the Monty Python Easter egg. We'll change it back, we'll change it back. Look, look, look. So Monty Python Easter egg, if you call your car Patsy, <coughs> that happens. <laughs> is this what you were after, Portland Autos? <laughs> So let me know, what do you actually think of the white car? Because obviously we've got the Midnight Silver, which you have to pay for. It's, it's £1,500 more expensive, and this white colour is just included in the price. So what do you think? What's your opinion? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, I think what we need to do is we need to see what does the acceleration look like from outside of the car. So I'm going to dump Becky by the side of the road, and we'll do another little 0-60. Okay, I'm going to stand right here. Get out of here, Becky. <laughs> hey, Becky. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> I might be back a bit. Yeah. Alright, while you and Becky were outside of the car, I learned this car did something that my car doesn't do, and I don't know if my car can't do it or if it's not enabled, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn around in here, and Becky, could you film that mirror, please? Yeah. Because, watch what happens, I'm about to go into reverse now. Ooh! Hello! And then I go out of reverse, and it moves back up, and I go back in reverse, and it moves back down. So I don't know if that's a feature that my car doesn't have, or if it's just something I've not enabled, but how fancy was that? Just a little extra mirror maneuver thing. So yes, this car is more expensive than mine. Yes, this car is way faster than mine. Yes, this car's mirrors do a little cool thing when you go into reverse. But hey, Becky, what's that next year? It's a wheelie bin. Hey, Becky, no wheelie bin to be seen. Anyone see a wheelie bin? Not me. Yes, that's right. My car can see wheelie bins, and this car can't. <laughs> now that is because they just haven't updated to the latest free software over the air update. But uh, right now, my car can see wheelie bins, and this car can't. What's that, Becky? It's a wheelie bin. What's this here, right, hey, Becky? Nothing. Bugger all. There's no wheelie bin. Okay, let's. Do, uh, we should probably go give their car back. <laughs> oh, what's this we've come across? A national speed limit. Not a problem. Oh, that's, a, that's a good little corner as well. I really got my tummy that one. <laughs> that was amazing. So this car can also handle corners and things slightly better than mine, um, which obviously I don't want to overdo in terms of testing when I don't own this and they've been very kind as to let me borrow it. Do I want a Model 3 performance? I don't know, maybe. It is very, very fun, the acceleration. Uh, my neck hurts a bit, though. <laughs> yeah. My neck's not hurted when doing launches in uh, in my version, so maybe I should just stick with, with the standard range. <laughs> Your face looks so funny. <laughs> well, here we are. We're one minute away from the dealership, so we can do one last quick acceleration. <laughs> That's it. It's over, Becky. It's over. But um, Paul and Dosos, thank you very much for reaching out and um, just allowing us to borrow this car. Hopefully, we can do it again with some other Teslas. Maybe a Lamborghini. <laughs> so, yeah, you can check them out in the description. But if you enjoyed this video, please do show your support in the comments down below. I feel like um, testing out other cars is a, a pretty nice, natural progression for this Jack Massey Welsh channel. Obviously, we're going to continue showing off updates and stuff on my car. But it's nice for this to be something else that we can start experimenting with a little bit. So, hopefully, this video does do well. This car is for sale as well i assume it's doubled in value now that my ass has been on this seat so feel free to reach out to them if you're interested thank you very much for watching and uh yeah we'll see you next week with another video here we are back in my car it's not the same <laughs> it's 
not the same. 